Um, also from a facilities, the SAU has a facilities director that we don't use at all. Um, the SAU does not have a facilities director. They're not paid by the yeah, the facility director is through summer's work. That, that, that's a misnomer. It's listed oh, under SAU questions. services, and every year I have said uh, that we don't, the SAU does not pay him, so is that really true? And it's not true. Okay. The SAU does not have a facility director. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, sorry. All right. Um, you said, you know, a lot of, reiterated a lot of the things that we had talked about, right? Not being used for curriculum, per se, mm -hmm. oversight. Um, you talked a little bit about the transition with Marshwood, um, but not necessarily any other additional needs there. Did talk, I said, so what do you need that you don't have? Um, and the, the one piece was um, the crisis, like a crisis social worker. Um, you know, that, um, what do we need to do there? So that he did seem to feel like that was a, a gap that we had. Within the SAU office, you're saying within the SAU or the or within the school district. <laughs> so, um, you know, is there a, a comp? My note says crisis. Find a company that does behavior, um, basically that we can bring in, or should we hire our own? Well, that's something I think the board would. Yeah. 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 Typically, that would probably yeah. go through the Rollins for budget. I mean, because yeah. like, yeah. yeah. it would be specific for right. Rollins. Got it. And because we don't have one on staff, as far as I know, right? Uh, so we something that happens if we need one. It's contracted. It's service. contracted by yeah. the district. So. Yeah. Okay. So that wasn't, you know, there was nothing earth shattering. That's why, like, sorry I didn't get the notes up, but I didn't think there was anything that I was, wow, this guy's not going to So, um, any questions? No, that's good. I mean, it's good. It, it was good to hear. It's good to hear some of the stuff, and, and I've made some notes too because some of the things. Um, curriculum, for instance, I mean, we don't use um, the uh, services at the SAU because it's all done in-house. We have one school, we have to make sure it's, I mean, there are those kinds of things. But uh, certainly if Rich felt that he needed help, he should be talking to his boss. And, uh, and he did not say that he felt like yeah, he needed Yeah, I didn't think so. But, but, no. but he was saying that we don't use those services. And he's right, right we don't. Right. So you bring up some good points with, and, and it's a good example um, if you have a standalone mm -hmm. uh, part-time SAU. Mm -hmm. um, you had mentioned for special education the mm -hmm. homeless liaison. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got out-of-district placements. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, with Marshwood. You've got some some pieces there. You've got homeschooling. Uh, you've got grant writing, mm -hmm. and all of that. The way it functions right now, that falls under. five different people, uh, portions of that, and if you had a standalone part-time uh, mm -hmm. SAU, then all of those tasks would be, obviously it's a smaller entity with right. just Rollinsburg, but all of those tasks would fall under one or one group of people. So, the master, all of those things. <laughs> well, yeah, that, right. that's the, I mean, that's yeah. one of the good things about having a contracted <laughs> service with a full service SAU, you have yeah. all of those people right. that, that do that. So. Do these services, I don't know if anyone knows the answer to this question, but do these services, having such good services, that attract teachers and staff for staying retention-wise? Like, if it's a small part-time, like, do they have the support they need, especially with special education? <coughs> Does that drive them crazy and drive them out of the school? I, I would like to say that that's a huge factor. Okay. would <laughs> <laughs> like to say that. But as far as the teaching staff, to be honest, um, I don't think that they know, like the general public, I'm not sure a lot of them know what the SAU right. does. Okay. I mean, unless they, unless yeah. they don't get paid, okay. unless their health right. insurance <laughs> needs to be taken care of, uh, you know, those types of yeah. things are, are, are things that they yeah. understand. Okay. Um, but, you know, I'm not sure that that's yeah. an attraction for um, teachers coming into the district. And I think that's true. We, we had uh, two retiring teachers this past year. Right. 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 And, um, Nichols. And, 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 and Mrs. Nichols yeah. and and they Mrs. Nichols at, at, at her last came to the last SAU board meeting and said very clearly, but it made me think it was the first time she'd done it. <laughs> HR was fantastic. If she oh, didn't have right. Melissa's help, but she yeah. wouldn't have, she wouldn't have known everything to do to actually retire and get right. everything, she, all the paperwork and everything she needed done. Right. So they use it when they need it. Right. But, right. But until they need it, they don't even know it's there. Yeah. No. We were just worried that if we had something so small that. A teacher would get set up that I don't have my special ed 
person to talk to, yeah. I can't deal with this environment anymore kind of thing. Well, so. that certainly happens. I mean, it's one of those things. It's kind of like a referee in a, in a, in a, in a baseball or basketball game. Right. When they're doing a great job, nobody knows they're there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that's something I, I worry we would lose. Or, yeah. I don't know. A, way, a con, I think, to mm -hmm. creating our own part-time thesis. I just spoke with the other she's teacher uh, one two this is this is Oh, Sorenson, right? The new teacher? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, you know, she we were just talking, and she's like, yeah, I was curious about that. So I think the stability of this thing mm -hmm. does work. Yeah. Um, I don't know that necessarily specifics. Not until they become a problem, like I was reading through some other withdrawal, <coughs> some other towns withdrawal reports, and they definitely had conflict, right? right. Lack of services. Oh, okay. Like yeah. I think I would say that, that if, if an SAU is functioning correctly and doing everything that they, they do very efficiently, then I'm not sure that's a drawing point for the district. However, right. if the is he, SAU is, is um, not functioning correctly yeah, and sure. not doing their job, I think it could push people away. Okay, yeah, that's fair. If that makes and, sense. And that makes complete sense, absolutely, yeah. In, in many cases, teachers are looking for the school they want to go into. Right. Not necessarily the school district. Now, some, some are looking for a school district right. or, or any job. Yeah. But often teachers say, oh, I know where I want to teach. Right. Because it has a, the school itself has a right. reputation. Any other questions, concerns, thoughts? Anything to add on? Thank you very much. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good. Yeah. 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 And I like her to talk too. So <laughs> it's just nice to spend a few minutes okay. with them. So, um, so why don't we jump over to our few responses? Okay. Um, I had. Three that got back to me um, that said they might be interested in further discussions. Um, one is Dover School District, and I have, I'll speak to it a little bit, but this is the, the letter. As I, as I read through this, it, it looks to me, and I'm starting on the second page, it looks to me like they're proposing that uh, they would add an assistant superintendent for, and, and the major part of their duties would be the attention to Rollinsford. Um, they cite business personnel here. I, I assume that that would be an additional bookkeeper or payroll or account payable or somebody like that because on the next page, they go further to say that the responsibility of the superintendent and business administrator would be tossed out on a per diem. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted the superintendent at board meetings, uh, annual meetings, uh, same with business administrator, then that would be an additional cost for the matter of this. And then down the bottom, you know, they don't put in anything for attorney fees, audit, maintenance, mm -hmm. no equipment office, rental of office space, I mean, those things are, uh, can add up pretty rapidly. So, you know, I'm just guessing at this. If I, if I take the 250000 the assistant superintendent business personnel, 250000 my, my guess would be that you could probably add another 100 on that with incidental, incidentals with the superintendent business administrator and then other fees as well. And that's just a pure guess on the top of that. So. And I also noticed they didn't mention special education at all. Um, they did not. So I didn't hear at all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So and, and I so that's not even included from from the looks of it. Right. Yep. And caught my eye. <laughs> the other thing that caught my eye is that we have to we over it says require consideration for tuition agreement at high school as well. So on the last so page, last. page mm -hmm. three, number four. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, yes, they, and they were one of the uh, um, entities that um, did, did a proposal right. for that to move and, and, and decided right. where to go. Yep. So I thought that was an interesting mm -hmm. position. Right. <laughs> 
Well, I'm, I'm sure that you know they've got a yes. they've got a brand new school and they would welcome <laughs> a like few more bodies in there. That's beautiful. It is gorgeous. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that's that's Dover. Um, the next one is Marshwood. Um, Marshwood has said, uh, if I'm reading this correctly, that they are interested in providing special education director services. Um, I don't believe they're interested in providing superintendent or uh, business administrator services. So, as you can see here, they're, they're doing one-fifth of special uh, director and administrative assistant at the cost of about $41,000. Uh, annual for the special ed piece alone. So if we were to pursue something like this, would we have to have wherever we're getting the rest of the services or providing them ourselves, okay, let's get somewhere else, we would have to say, we'd pull that out of, say, like Dover didn't talk about it at all, right? So would this augment that we would say, um, yes, but it, it, it's, it's, it's a bit cumbersome because you would have, I mean, you'd kind of have two superintendents overseeing different pieces at different times. Um, you know, you, you, you could do that with Dover. The other option would be to do a standalone part-time superintendent, business administrator, and then contract the services for special ed out with uh, Marshall. Yeah. Obviously, you know, anything you do like that, splitting it up is, adds one more layer of being disjointed. Absolutely. The more patchwork it comes, the more seams there are at the home part. Um, so, I mean, I think that's, that's a point I'll make when we sum all this up. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I think one of our key tenants from the very first meeting was, we don't want to degrade the quality, mm -hmm. we want to manage the cost. And the last is from Summersworth, and I'll speak to it. I brought the minutes from the meeting. Um, I didn't bring the letter to myself um, that I wrote to myself. <laughs> You're wrong. It's been so You're the key here, So I'll speak, speak through the minutes here. Uh, one thing that I want to... One thing that I want to bring to your attention prior to... Speaking to it, I'm trying to find it. There was a statement in here. The Rollinsford School, the Rollinsford School Board has voted to with for Rollinsford to withdraw. Uh, an incorrect statement. But where are you? So, uh, under paragraph six, halfway down, you'll see Richardson underlined. Okay. It, stated yep. the Rollinsford yep. School Board has voted for Rollinsford to withdraw. That's a misstatement. It is not correct. We can't make that. Huh? It is. So, just just to just to highlight that before we get too far. It's a mistake. Um, basically, Summersworth has approved further discussions if it were to come to this with the Rollinsford School Board. Um, they would welcome the opportunity for you to contract services back with, without any authority. Uh, and they went so far as to say that they are willing to support the current funding formula by RSA. So. Uh, you know how it's being calculated now, moving forward, would be uh, would be what was was considered. Right now, the the figure is a hundred and what is it for this year? One hundred eighty three thousand, one hundred eighty five thousand, some, something like that for services uh, for the present year. And those are the only three that I heard back from that had any interest. Did, um they did not. Um, I think that that would be up to both boards negotiating. Yeah. I, I don't think that they had thought of you know making it a one year, a five year, a ten year. Yeah. Um, but I think that that's something in negotiations that the Rollins for board might want to have a discussion about as well. Well, once we 
once we decide what direction we're going in and what we're going to propose. Right, exactly. If you get to that point. Public input and stuff. Is there commitment to the same level of service? So it's like for life, essentially. Just no open That's the only change that they expressed any interest in making. You know, this, if you, a school board question, you receive your, um, your email addresses are SAB 56. So, mm -hmm. like, we would assume that those things would maintain as well. The, the support of the volunteers for the board through the SAU? Um, that's an interesting question. I would assume that our email addresses might change. I don't know. We, we are not part of it. We would not be part, if we're the ones to withdraw, Right. and it's not someone's work who withdraws, right. we would not be part of SEO 56, so I pushed the question back to <laughs> <laughs> I see how this works. Uh, and I, would, I, don't, I would think that they would change. And that we would become a Rollinsford, um, uh, the Rollinsford, uh, yeah, we use the wrongs for. Um, well, it's tricky. Yeah, it's tricky. I they don't. Yeah, it's tricky. I, don't, yeah. Yeah. It is tricky. I, I think that. And it, that might be something that goes in the contract. Yeah. Yeah. My contract. my guess is it would stay the same with SAU fifty six being summers worth. I'm just trying to think this through. Being summers worth and SAU fifty six also providing services for. So it would be a wording change. Um, I see. <clears throat> it's almost like contractors. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Right. Okay. Look like. Well, that's true, and they do have. We do have contractors at the SAU level. Um, we have, um, I, I think they're considered contractors. I'm not sure. It's not like psychologists or whatever. Maybe uh, they're hires. I don't know. Yeah, it's a contracted service yeah. with them. So, yeah. so. They would get an SAU. I would assume the email would stay the same, but I know it's a small question, question but it's a capital. Yeah. It'd be an expenditure for the school, mm -hmm. right? For the school board, if you would have, yeah. have to retool the technology and stuff. Yeah. So with that, what discussion is do we want to have about the three? We're, we're at three, right? We're at Dover, um, Marshwood for partial, and uh, Summerford. Yeah. Kind of seems like a no-brainer to me. The summer's worth um, that they're willing to keep the same formula is really positive. Um, it would, there wouldn't really be a transition. Um, the Dover number came in much higher and doesn't include all the, the things that we require. And same with Marshwood doesn't really include everything that we're going to need. I agree. And the tuition Yes. I get it, but is that something you want to pursue? I don't think so. <laughs> Not right now. Generally, thoughts? Yeah, I think if I were to rank them so far based on these, I would go with, with Summer's Worth, looking at Maine and Dover. And I guess the only question I would have on the Maine side is that, so they don't want to do everything. But if we had the assistant superintendent, is that something for all those other things we talked about that the SMU provides? Is that something we would do on a per diem with Marshwood in that scenario? I'm sorry, what would you what, what, what we Well, there's a bunch of... Special I mean, ed? Or? Yeah, special ed or um, HR, um, all these other services that, you know, if, if there's ten things that, that the SAU provides, Marshwood is only doing a couple of them. And with the remain and not... And not the superintendent stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So that would mean we'd have to have a superintendent, part-time superintendent. But like we talked before, that could stretch somebody pretty thin. So it needs to be able to leverage somebody. And would, is that something you know? Could you almost expand this one to say that we're gonna we're gonna work with Maine? You're gonna do what you're doing here. We're gonna have an assistant superintendent, and the other services we need is from an SAU. We would contract out to Marshall provide that? I would find that to be, because the school board would be sitting in the middle of all that, in essence, mm -hmm. and we have to do, uh, it, it, it's a lot more work for the school board first, mm -hmm. to make sure that everybody's doing their job. Yeah. Um, and, and the school board would have to step up yeah, to do I that, see. and right now we certainly don't have, we don't have much bandwidth for that. Yeah. 
And also, it's patchwork. As soon as we start building a patchwork, I, I'm not a fan of building a patchwork unless we own the entire quilt. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we don't. We don't own any pieces of that quilt. Uh, and because I, I, I posed the question to Bob a, a couple months ago, I said, how does it work that if a special ed director is working in Marshwood and is overseen by a superintendent over here, yeah. Because this is the this is the New Hampshire superintendent who has to make sure New Hampshire specializes. How does that work? Yeah. And it, it, it like I just can't quite see a path forward yeah. when they're sitting in another SAU office working for another superintendent full time. Yeah. So then I would you know based on that input I would go from um, in regard to not considering cost I would go with Marshwood for just the lack of disruption and. What we know you mean summer school. I'm sorry. Summer yeah, school. Summer school. <laughs> Strike that. <laughs> and, then, uh, and, then, and then Dover, because it's a more complete thing, and then obviously Marshall College. That's the order. Yeah, that's, that's how it is. And, and so let's throw into the mix. I mean, those are the things we've gotten back. But I mean, I, I, I feel strongly that we are also not in a position to form our own SAU mm -hmm. yet. We may be at some point. But I don't feel that we are yet, and this is certainly contracting for whatever amount of time with a contract that has the right, you know, sort of opt out. You know, how, how do we get out of it if we need to? How does the other party get out of it if they need to? Uh, those kinds of things, um, with, it, with those properly laid out, that at some point we may, but choose to do that. Especially but, knowing that SAD 35 is willing to do special ed, especially the, they seem very like, eager to do that. So. If we formed our own SAU at some point, that seems like could be an easy relationship yeah, to build. But, but again, it's a it's a matter of whether or not we're willing. Exactly. To yeah. But I agree. I think some of are, yeah. especially since Stover also didn't include the special education. Too. It seems like a huge. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder um, if the con. I mean, the contract process is going to be handled by the school boards, mm -hmm. but. I think a contract would also afford us some ability to hold um, summers worth accountable to percentages of time, mm -hmm. whether it be not down to the minute, things like that, but let's make sure we're getting the services that we're paying for um, and that they're of the quality that we expect. So we're a consumer at that point versus a partner. Right. And, that, and that's part of it being a known entity. We know what we expect for services because right. we've been receiving them. Right. Um, if we see a, a tailing off, then it's a... Right. So, so one of the things, Jen, let me come back to you on this. Um, one of the, looking at our notes from the last, from the last meeting, we, um, we were looking at, so I think, making a decision this evening because Bob had committed to having a draft by the 5th of September if we say our, our, the, the collective will of the withdrawal committee is that we contract. So let's talk through those options, mm -hmm. right? So we could do nothing, we could dig our heels and stay in the same <laughs> sex, right? I mean, and Summers first made it pretty clear yeah. that they will in turn mm -hmm. withdraw. Um, the other option is to completely withdraw um, and contract back services. Um, we could also withdraw and join another SAU, but nobody <laughs> wants us. <laughs> um, and then, um, what was the other option? So part-time, so part yeah. yeah, so we could create our own. So, um, yeah, as you look at those options, I think um, financially and from a um, just a level of service perspective, I think we're at a point where we, we may need to say, I think some of come back with the most attractive offer um, or proposal at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's the probably not. most likely the one to get passed by the voters as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, because it's cost neutral. Right, yeah. exactly. And it's seamless to them. I think it would be easier to understand on a ballot. Would we also get the, the our fund balance piece back? Yes. So we get a Right. <laughs> $150. $150. <laughs> 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 
we, we have about a quarter of the per diem for one of those donor people. We get back about about six, between about sixteen percent of the entire fund balance at okay. the time that this takes place. Right. Okay. So I was just uh, in, in, in the future it would be by contract. Okay. Whatever whatever contractually you right. you agree to. But you're, you're absolutely right. Right now, whatever it is at the time that, that the separation takes place, then yes, you have a portion of that. So is there a potential for us to, as part of the contract, to be required to pay into a fund balance in addition to the fund balance is created at the SEO level for unex the unexpended funds are used for that. So it's not it's not that we go we don't go into uh, setting a budget saying well, let's have extra so we can put some away. We just try to figure out what it's going to be and then you know, sometimes somebody um, retires or leaves and the position doesn't get filled. Um, so that saves some money or whatever, and that's what goes into fund balance okay. for the SAD. Well, I think, Jen, I thought what you were saying is that if we contract, there's not going to be an additional requirement for us to put money into the fund balance. That's all right. up to the SAU to handle that from, the, from the fees. Um, and that would be by contract. Okay. Um, I suppose that there could be a contract developed that would, would Say X number, and I'm just making this up. X number of dollars for a building, um, you know, for for a roof or whatever. Um, that hasn't been done to this point, um, and I wouldn't anticipate that that would be in the contract. But that would be by contract. So it would be a known. It's not a variable cost, like a. Mortgage. Whatever, if you're contracting <laughs> services, whatever is in the contract that you negotiate is what you're going to do. Right, I mean, and, and, and there may be, um, because we're going to be using the same formula, it essentially is based on the entire SAU budget. Right. Now, which it's not going to set now. Which, which they will set now, right. I mean, they, they may choose to double everybody's salaries there. We will have no say in that right. if they choose to do that. And the, and That's the, highly recommended. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. And, um, now, on the other hand, if they said we're going to build a new facility, we, we could say, well, we're, we're, we're not, we don't have any say in your building. We don't, have any, we don't want any ownership in that building. It's yours. So, so we might put in the contract that we don't do anything with buildings, right. any building um, improvements or anything, because they would be doing those anyway. We wouldn't be doing them just because we're there. Right. So, I mean, the, those kinds of things would be worked out on the contractual level, yeah. I think. Yeah, I agree. What are, are there any other risks? I mean, I think this is a big conversation, right, about the, the potential risks of, of things to consider. Sure, there are risks that the personnel that we know and trust leave, mm -hmm. and then we have no say in what that personnel becomes. Right. But I think that's a risk. Yeah. Do you think, from a contract standpoint, if that's a concern, because you've talked about it a couple times, is that maybe the school board has an option to be part of the interview process? I don't think I, again, I, I think we can put whatever we want, and, and whether it's part of the interviewing process or if that doesn't fly, um, it becomes an earlier opt out. You know, mm -hmm. then in that case, then you know, then, yeah. then that gives us oh, a yeah. different, a different. You know, if, if certain personnel change, we get to, you know, we get to. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> give ninety days instead of six months. I mean, yeah. whatever. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. But. Okay. I think part of this change is that they don't want us to be involved in those types of discussions mm -hmm. and decisions and things. So it would probably be something like an opt out or some other kind of arrangement that we have to put in the contract. And some thought for, for length of contract, certainly. I mean, there are pros and cons, but you want a one year, you want a five year, ten year, um, pros and cons for both. The other piece of this too is, is is once you pull out and you're contracting the services, I believe you're you're, you're already out. So it, let's say two years down the road, you decide, all right, you know, we're we're going to move forward with having a, a our own standalone SAU. Um, you're not really pulling out of anything. Mm -hmm. Right. You can you can take a year to plan and, and budget and put it in place. You're terminating one contract and. Like a software yeah. landing. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it really is. Mm. Mm. So, when we, or if we were to withdraw, do we get assigned our 
as the unit, or do you become just contract in the 56? Uh, we would be receiving services from SAU 56. So it's, it's, somewhat, it's somewhat like Northern Maine, we'll become part of the unorganized territories. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see a mini series. Yeah, we are not part of SEO 56, but they are providing our services. Right. And that meets, we're comfortable that that meets the requirements for the RSA. Oh, it does. Yeah. It does. Right now, uh, Governor Wentworth uh, is, I mean, Middleton is contracting SAU services with Governor Wentworth up in Wolfboro. They, I, they, they are not part of the district, they're just contracting the services. And I think if you look at their website, it says providing services to you, okay. or something like that. So that might be another, just the communication piece of it up front, like what it will feel like. And, and by RSA, it, it says in there that you need these services of, it doesn't say how you get the services. Okay. Okay. I was just going to open it up for public comment now that we've, <laughs> you've been on this journey with us. <laughs> I, what, being devil's advocate, what would happen if you didn't withdraw? That, that would force Summersworth to withdraw? And I think one of that drawbacks was paying you, right? Well, <laughs> uh, no, we'd be letting him go immediately. Oh. <laughs> no, he's a contract. Uh, I'm not so sure that's the case. <laughs> we'd be letting him go. Immediately. Uh, well, maybe not. The uh, yes, that means that means that Summersworth would pull out, and and um, Rollinsford would be SAU 56. And would maintain the the current. Overhead cost structure, but right. no, 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 no. It would look drastically yeah. different, well, obviously, right. but but you would have to hire everybody except for the existing superintendent. Right. Because you're the only one that was contracted, right? Everyone else is that. Um, well, I'm the only one right? that had a three-year contract. Okay, a multi-year contract. Gotcha. Question. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to figure out what the state would think if if Summersworth pulled out, and we were our own. I'm I'm wondering what the state would do is to say no, you can't be, you haven't got the requisites to be your own SAU. I believe the only thing the state is going to look at is do we, do you have options. The only time the state is going to step in is if a district is left high and dry with no options. You've already got four options on the table right here. Right. So if Summers were, were to pull out, the only option that would go away, I assume, would be contracting the services back with Summersworth. The other three options are still on the table. And, and is there a way to find out if... Dover just didn't put it in their request in their paperwork for special ed, or yeah, where they're not doing the whole them, package. But it was pretty clear in the proposal that and it wasn't nothing. included. Okay. Noted, and they're already even with the existing. So it adds that let's assume it's another person, a high, you know, a technical person, right? At, at least that hundred thousand mark. Right, at least one person. So we're probably looking closer to getting up towards 400,000, which would be double our current cost. That's a lot. One person for us. Yeah, it's like almost. Yeah. I mean, I get what they're trying to accomplish, but I don't think they would need another full-time business person, you know, additional staff. And it's probably to pick up those five, six different jobs that... Uh, yeah, exactly. Have. Stuff like, yeah. Just, and I would, I would assume it's probably not a dedicated Right. Now, it says Adding percent, another so. district, no, no matter how small, is very time-consuming. Oh. I mean, it is, a load, it is a load on the sit out. And, and, and the good news about Summersworth is that they already know the load. I mean, I mean right. yes, you already know the yes, load. Yes, we do. Right. And, so, <laughs> and they're still willing to, right, right. Be, uh, to contract That makes us. sense. Yeah, absolutely. Do we think that there'd be any 
me, um, just talking about summer's worth and the, the cost structure a little bit, we think that when it gets to city council, there will be any pushback from a cost perspective. Mm -hmm. this, the withdrawal committee has mm -hmm. said, what, what no, no, the summer's worth school. Oh, 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 the school, school work. And they are the ones who will be doing the contract. Mm -hmm. okay. You're right, and that's a good question. Because they mm -hmm. could, the city council ultimately makes their decision. I have not heard that gaining traction. I, okay. I mean, I don't want to speak for, for people. I, certainly some people have batted around a lot of different kind of ideas and formulas and stuff. This, what's stated in these minutes, really is, is um, what has gained the most traction consistently from the start. Okay. <coughs> yeah, and these are from the Summersworth School Board meeting, not from right. the yeah. yeah. just, just to make yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Yeah, and I think the important thing there is that we would, in, in our potential recommendation moving forward, it would be given that the contract and the price comes back at nothing, you know, almost a not to exceed, say, 225000 which would, mm -hmm. you know, be within that, I would think, a safe buffer. Um, or it must, it needs to align with the state formula. Um, versus them coming out of left field with some other formula. Right, right. The contract would definitely be to follow the state. Okay. It's my guess. But again, this is the easiest way to go. And Summersworth has never been uh, crazy spending money. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I, I don't expect them to uh, double everyone's salary. Right. Uh, in order to nor to, <laughs> nor to add, a, to add more, yeah, to, to build a brand new, look to do building. I, I don't expect them to do that. Now, right. if they do, then again, we need to have safeguards in place. Yes, right. Absolutely. Yeah, as far as process goes, I think I would recommend, you know, when, when we have the forum, uh, let the general public know about all four options that are, are you know, you, you researched and, and the costs with that and the pros and cons with that. If there's one in particular that you are looking to bring forward, um, we could state that. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, if, and I'm just saying if, uh, if it's with Summersworth, then I would suggest that the two school boards have some initial negotiations because then you could put that contract right in the proposal that's going forward to the state right. mm -hmm. as well as uh, the voters in March would know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I think as we start talking about um, what the public hearing is going to look like, I think I think I think that the withdrawal committee needs to be clear as to what we've chosen as an option. I mean, that's I, mean, we, we, I think there uh, that has to be part of the of it before we open it up even to public comment because that's what we want to get public comment. On. We don't want the public all over the place. Oh right. That was I mean, they'll go there. Right? Yeah. Well, what in case I what? we were talking a little bit about. The design was to present the options mm -hmm. and allow the public to respond to each mm -hmm. option. Um, but in the I'm example, not sure. I'm not sure I would do that. I'm not, oh, I'm not okay. either. But okay. I think that's the, that was the coaching and guidance I thought I heard. But then as I looked at other examples, it seems like there was a primary, like a, a highly recommended option. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think that you know we we go down through and. You know, if we start with the, the standalone SAU, you know, these are the pros and cons. Uh, this is the amount. This is not the final choice of the withdrawal committee. And then go down through, and, and like I said, and then to the last choice of saying this is the recommended, uh, and this is the cost and the pros and cons, and this is what the board the withdrawal committee is support. And then have questions on. Well, questions, comments. Yeah, I, mean, I, I kind of looked at it as sort of the. Um, that, that I think, as the forum starts out, I mean, first, well, um, that we should first of all review the time. The board was presenting at the time should review the timeline, yeah. and that we should have a we should have a big visible display of the timeline, starting back from when we first did this, um, and then perhaps uh, Bob to speak, then the uh, chairman here again to speak, and, and to decide what we're going to talk about, but about um, about. All, all the decisions that are open to us, and then what the withdrawal committee agreed to put on, that seems to make sense. Um, and then, and then, 
you know, very clearly at the end of all that presentation, simply saying that this is this is the option withdrawal committee has um, is, is behind, and uh, now we will open it up to. And really, so feedback. you're going to so get the, you yeah, you're going to get the feedback, and maybe some people are going to come up with ideas that mm -hmm. we need to think about right. that we might have to consider. But I think what we're doing here is very good because it's transparent. But in, in general, after this is all done, our recommendation is probably what's going to go to the voters. Most likely, yes, unless we hear it. And, and unless they come up with something. Well, like and the plans, and again, uh, Bob had indicated that if, if we could make a decision tonight, certainly, I don't know, it's still, still a good push to the fifth, but um, to have a, have a draft that that plan. Next meeting, is that the, the plan ready? What was the plan? What's the fifth? Sorry. What's the... It, it was just a date that he threw out of the last meeting. Okay. I'm not sure why. It's crazy. It doesn't like long weekends. Because it's crazy. <laughs> no, September 5th. Okay. You may want to change your mind on that. We'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll see how much we get um, just, just because it's really the draft plan that we're presenting, in essence, to the public. Right. But this this is our plan. This is this is what we're planning to do. Let's hear. We might have to tweak it. We might have to do some other things. We may have to even reconsider. But but unless we give them something to consider, mm, yep, they'll be all over the place and. In the presentation, does it make sense? I know we, so we talked about review options and costs and the timeline, and maybe just again to reiterate to people the role of an essay. Mm -hmm. so so like, yeah, mm -hmm. You're done already. I started. <laughs> I started. Um, okay. So I can't put it up there, but can I just see my yeah, sure, sure, sure. So, a cover sheet. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, I'm thinking welcome and introductions, because obviously this committee has put a lot of time and effort into this. What is an SAU generic, not about SAU 56? Um, SAU 56 statistics and how we fit into um, Summersworth today. Um, into the SAU, we don't fit into Summersworth at all. Sorry. Just, just, I, I, we need to be clear because yeah, yeah. a lot of people think of it as Summersworth, but it's not. Very, it's, very true. Um, what was our process? And I've got a timeline in here. And then our findings and potential recommendations. And then the questions and answers. So it's pretty much what we just talked about. So, um, our list of who, we can go through this. This is not perfect by any means, mm -hmm. but let's talk generically about what an SAU is. Um, I almost wanted to do what it isn't, um, <laughs> based on what I've learned <laughs> through all true. of this, right? <laughs> um, but maybe that's some of the commentary when we speak mm -hmm. to this. Um, SAU 56 at a glance, so you've got the Summersworth piece, the Rollinsburg piece coming together to create SAU 56, um, you know, the staff, the, et cetera, um, just at a high level. Um, here's the process. So, you know, we talked, it's really small, sorry. Um, we identified we want to consider withdrawal. We had the election of the town, the form of the committee, um, and we held committee meetings. Here we are at the community forum. And do we need to have two? Do we need to do? I've got to double check that. Okay. Originally, I, I had read it that it would be two and one in each um, community, but I don't believe that's the way it's written. I got to look at that again. Okay. And and, and do we need to invite Summersworth? Mm -hmm. um, it's post. It, they're already invited. Okay. It's, it's, well, <laughs> it's posted. I wasn't sure because covered. our posting did, well, didn't go to them. So. Everything that we've posted for your forum has gone there, and everything that we've posted yeah. for their forum has oh, gone okay. here. So technically, that. everybody's invited. Okay. Um, so we're going to have the community forum. We're going to come up with a final recommendation. It's going to go to the Department of Education, and then the town is going to vote. And there's pieces under yeah. there, but but that's a good that's a good. Um, at a high level, and then... Do you want to include some dates on there? I will. This is so rudimentary. This yeah. is my computer was backing up earlier today. Right. <laughs> um, so, at a glance, looking at the options, do nothing, um, remain SAU 56, create a single district SAU, join an existing SAU, or contract SAU services. Um, what's the description of it? What are the pros? What are the cons? And the estimated cost, page at glance. Um, I don't know if it necessarily can all fit on one page, but I'll do my darnest. Um, yeah, at a high level, anyways. And then, what are our recommendations? Is? I didn't know coming into tonight what it would look like. So, um, what is the recommendation? What are our next steps? And then, Q and A and feedback. So, that's 
So I think it's great. That looks awesome. Perfect. Yeah, that's fabulous. So, so when we do this, will we do it in some place, in the like gym. the gym, and like yeah. they did for the budget? We'll definitely, yeah. definitely yeah. be doing yeah. that. We'll have a we'll have yeah. the okay. smart board. Yeah. So I did want to ask about that. So if we're comfortable with that being the the, the flow, um, there's a do we have to create that underlying report? Um, that, like the 40-page report that you said that? Ultimately, yes. Because yes. okay. that's what goes to the State Board of Education. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be 40 pages. Right. I've seen some of the panels. Okay. So, so. But again. Yeah, we, we, can put, we can put that together. Okay. <laughs> we can put that together. Well, then it's going to happen. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, let's talk a little bit about the forum. So, 6.30 the 18th of September, it's a Wednesday. Um, we have the posting already out there. Um, we, I think, do you need to talk about the, we did talk through the presentation, well, we can talk through who's speaking to what. Um, I did notice that some towns had a moderator. Um, I don't know if we need a moderator. I think we might need a facilitator just to ensure that everyone's, everyone gets heard, wants to get heard, and also someone to keep track of the questions and comments that may not pertain to that, but the other things. Right. I will bet any money right here and now that we're going to get questions about the sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And those right. will have to be yeah. tabled, but right. someone should be making a note of those. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that what is, is not is actually a good slide to present. Right. Right at the beginning. To set at the beginning. Exactly. Yeah. This is to discuss the withdrawal right. process on yeah. yeah. This is not a I mean, discussion about that. Yeah. And I think your point to acknowledge it, we could even physically have a parking lot. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was paper, yeah. right? Yeah. I even wrote down right. what 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 a parking lot someone's yeah. for a parking lot, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um so who would we have to moderate? And again, I don't think it needs to be a moderator. Okay. This or is not going to be, I think a facilitator, and I, I, I think it can be. Can it be one of us? It can be one of us. Um, I, I did it for the uh, when we were looking at the um, uh, bonding to uh, improve this school right up to the snuff, um, and um, it was a very interesting experience. But. Uh, I mean, I, I am an experienced facilitator, but I think we have other people on the school board who are also experienced facilitators. Or anyone else? Um, I, I don't think we need to go far and wide to find someone. So oh, I'm saying, great. I don't think so. I mean, what do you think? Here? I agree. I'm not an experienced facilitator. But <laughs> there are definitely people on the board who are. Mm -hmm. Do we want to put that back to the school board to see? I mean, and I'm fine. personally, I'm fine if it, if you are, are the facilitator. Um, yeah. I think the important thing is simply to make sure that everybody is heard. Yes. Yep. Um, so, um, we can also work with, Rich has us in the, the calendar, I know we, there's a new nifty sound system, so we should be able to mic and so people can be heard. Um, we will have our, hopefully, our lovely recording studio there with us too, so that'll be great. Um, do we need to? Uh, figure out child care. Probably. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how the, 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 you guys do it for that. Um, Carrie has a list of sixth graders and potential seventh graders that have been, they set up the little teacher's room with activities and stuff like that during PTO meetings. So um, we can we can throw that out to them to see, hey, would you be interested in Doing this. We are also setting up um, a sign-up sheet on Open House, so we can add an SAU. We'll add that date. Oh, guys, potential babysitting dates. Okay. That works. Great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah. Um, which leads me to um, kind of the communication and publicity. I did reach out to Kyle Stecker, who's our fosters um, guy. Um, and he is willing to put any sort of notification in. He couldn't be here tonight, but he um, offered to put. Oh, no, it could be as long as it's on the No, it's going to be posted. In two places. Okay. Yeah, we've got it posted far and wide, so we haven't got it in the paper. But. So Kyle can uh, do that for us. He's offered. Um, that would be great. So I figured I'd give him the highlights from tonight and then um, ask him, give him the details. So I think having childcare and yeah. other good stuff yeah. would be great. Um, 
so that's that. Um, we have the open house on the 10th. I didn't talk to Rich about whether or not we can have a table or something there. We have the Aaron and Jen Road Show. <laughs> <laughs> um, a Swedish fish. What's it called? Swedish fish. I've fish. I've had to re, re up my Not inventory. Not to compete with the PTO candy bowl, too. Yeah, so. sure candy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so what if, um, so I think I'll follow up with Rich on that, because it, it sounds like you guys have a table or yes. something yep. set up. Or just so. kind of set up in the gym. Just to spread the word about the forum. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I'll follow up with Rich on that then. You know, if nothing else, I would just a new poster on it. But yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure you wouldn't mind giving a plug as well. I'm volunteering him for oh, plugging the, the date. And he usually gives a welcome in the right. beginning, so maybe you can throw that in as a date. Yeah. And I would like to, the other thing would be, um, how do we get out to the rest of the town? So that covers the students. Right. Right. <laughs> um, it, RGS students, so mm -hmm. we've still got we got the rest of the town, so we're not in a tax bill cycle, because I was thinking about that today, so mm -hmm. someone's not going to be sending something out. I have it up on Facebook already. Um, do we want to, this is a funding question, I know we have some some money, do we want to spend our money to do a mailing on the, or do we want on to the public hearing? I think, I think I would recommend that we wait and do it at, at the voting time, mm -hmm. yeah. um, but it could certainly um, someone could double check with Tia to make sure it gets on the town website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 as we're closer to the date. Um, we're not far. <laughs> that's, yeah, it's true. I'll, so I'll that's, send Tia. That's true. Um, um, I believe uh, Marshwood also has a list of Rollinswood students. Okay. And, and uh, email addresses for them. And um, Bob, we recommend you get in touch with Marshwood for sending that. You know, we would send the email. That, Whatever Rich is sending out should. Yeah, Rich would know that. I, I'm not sure who he touches Facebook. Yeah, maybe check with Rich and say, yeah, please also send this to, you know, send this to the Brownsville students at the Montreal. One of the other things that I've noticed is that the, uh, we, I know some work went into FAQs yeah. quite a bit, but they're very hard to find on the SAD website. And I would like to, I, I don't know how easy this is to do, but if, if the, all FAQs, I don't care which ones they are for Brownsville, if they could be moved to a place where not, um, not by year, but just you know here FAQs for Rollinsford FAQs. Period. Not right now they're by year. Yeah. yeah. School year. That is very it's hard. To it's and it's yes. almost impossible to find them. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can get those. And we could even ask. So so on the ho on the Rollinsford homepage. Yeah. That kind of. If, if once you click on Rollinsford, kind of place it to see them. Maybe Rich can put them on the RGS homepage as well. Who is that? I'll see if I can find that out. Yeah, too. and then and then of course that we can narrow them down a little bit before we post them again. They're pretty yeah. long. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Made some headway since we first wrote them, so I can take That's a look true. at them and see if we can condense them a bit. That's good, because then any, any notifications to parents to, through school to the school or on the town website could include a link yeah, to where to find them, the FAQs. If you make changes, can you attach it to an email to me in Word? And then that will make sure I'll get it on Yes, it will. I'll send it for a review and then we'll break Yeah, if, and if, if there's a the answer on page, if that's where we're going to keep them, that would be a good deal. Yeah. Well, in the town, if we could get the town, the school, and the SAU. For like, yeah. like here, right? Yeah, yeah that would be great. great. That would be absolutely great. So, so the different sites, I mean, did that include the town notifications that people can sign up for? Yes. I, mean, I want something that they, you know, when they yes. Somebody, so this, we'll, we can send, we'll send out the notifications. And you go, and, yeah, and Tia should make sure it goes to, to anyone who's on the town. It's not yeah. just a school thing, right. it's, a, it's a town right. thing. Right. So whoever gets in there, is it generally you and you're going to be in touch with Tia? Or I will. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. Making a present to town. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So, 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 so I can yeah. yeah. put together this, which we haven't circulated oh, yeah. because it was stuck in my mind. I think I sent it while you were in the so I totally get it. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> so we've got at least the starting point. Um, if not, oh, oh very and I can ship this out to everyone. Oh, this as is well. good. Oh, so oh, you have some here. This is nice. Yeah, I added the three that I thought were most important for people to know. So yeah. Well, that's great. Easily digestible. And someone may go, I don't need to go because I wanted to talk about that. Right, right. right. That's true. Which, unfortunately, I mean, we'd love to have anyone who wants to participate, but that's not the topic of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so, should we plan on having handouts as well? I think, depending on where the presentation lands, yeah. um, well, I mean, like having this as a oh, handout as well as being posted. Like to go so home with the kids. No, no, I mean, at the meeting. At the meeting. I'd be biased towards something a little chunkier, maybe the more comprehensive um, FAQs if we were to put. Um, I can make the FAQ, FAQ sheet, all of them, and just something like that if you want that as a handout. Yeah, that looks a lot better than yeah. just the <laughs> space <laughs> yeah. it's like, yeah. oh, Because this is a lot of presenting at work. So yeah, yeah. 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 This, is, this is readable. People aren't, yeah, people aren't going to read a, a, a dense one page. Yeah. Well, well, aren't some people. No, I'll speak yeah. for myself. So. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll this is what we currently have. Yeah. yeah, and that's, that's a lot of reading. I don't want to This is great. Such a deep outlook. She doesn't laminate. It doesn't laminate. No, but I do think consume if we can get it to a more consumable or maybe a trifold or a half fold or something. Sure. It's like more like a pamphlet. Well, I, I, I would say I, I would say this is what should be posted. We don't yeah. that we don't even have to go with. I mean, this this should be what we post for this for the meeting. For the meeting yeah. and then at the meeting, maybe something a little more consumable. Well, is that what I, I don't. I'm not sure that's necessary. No. No. Yeah, I still think it won't be read. I think we'll have a lot of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And, and that can also be posted in the library, at town hall, in the post office. Yeah. So and those those are good. And I made one without. I just added the links to where they can find them. Mm -hmm. Oh, and so I made one without them. Um, it's fantastic. Thank you. Oh, copy and paste. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's that's eye catching and, and easy to read. Mm -hmm. If you really want more info. Yeah. Yeah. There's where right. you go. I don't know, but just oh, I just put a random email. I'll just grab it. Totally for my people. Oh yeah. I don't see blue and green. Oh, oh yeah, and I changed the color. So that's absolutely yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Ye
allows us the rest of this week and early next week with the holiday. So maybe target by the 7th, making sure that everything's out there posted on websites, etc. Um, and then we've got the 10th here. Um, Oh, well, sorry for the open house. Oh, sorry. So, they can Sorry, I can do that and then be here anyway. I can do the tenth as well. So, okay. Okay. But, but, so if anyone, Joe, if you want to be there, is there any? Is there a budget committee meeting between now and the eighteenth? No, I don't think until October. Okay. Um, there is a selectman's meeting, so. We'll Yeah, the select board's meeting the 3rd of September. The 3rd? Oh, the Tuesday? Tuesday. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so maybe be ready. we be ready for that. I can do that if you guys are comfortable with that. Are there any other groups that we need to make sure we hit? I think if we make sure it gets to the library, obviously. Yes, most of them. It should be open by now. Yeah. And then foster. So we've got, I think, a bunch I of mechanisms. That, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, I was about to base my trust. That's great. Yeah. Very nice. And I like that fosters will be getting information from us. Yes. So, what about us meeting again? Can we talk logistics and walk through the presentation um, before the 18th? I can commit to. Um, Getting a draft, maybe. But we could work through that um, electronically and then just have a walk through. Would you guys be okay with that? Sure. Um, what works for you guys? This for me, not September 12th, but other than that. Would you be comfortable with like the 16th, this Monday? The 16th, two days, kind of just in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think especially. I think that's a good walk. Yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. a good, yeah. good time to do a walk through. Yeah, practice yeah. yeah. walk through. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, and what time do you use? The 9th? Travel time. The 16th. Oh. Okay. She said she, 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 she said said jumped on the 9th. I know. The date no one has mentioned. <laughs> That does not come under procrastination. I <laughs> can push it out another week. <laughs> like, six. six? Six? Okay. You guys okay with six? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. And we can probably get back to the library, I would think. Unless you feel like we want to meet here and be in the gym. Um, well, you know, it's not a bad idea, especially that late, to actually have everything up and running it through, make sure we don't see colors that nobody like you and I don't see. So it might be worthwhile to do a real dry run, especially yeah. with the new, because she said this is all the new setup here. Right, the, the sound. Yeah. Unless we were asked to use the old, old sound. <laughs> well, and I, yeah, and I don't, I, and again, we, um, that might be asking a lot. Okay. But we should at least be able to make sure that it comes up. We may not have the sound system. Yeah. We, we don't want to set up the whole chip, yeah. right? Yeah, no, that's yeah, a lot just, just, no, no, just the but, sound system. And, the, and but, even if not then, make sure it now plugs into the smart board. Board. Yeah. Okay. Um, and by then, we will have solicited 
whether it's Judy as our facilitator or someone from the school board as well. Um, so we want to invite them to that meeting as well. Yeah, the school board, yes, we'll mention it at our um, September meeting, correct, because it comes before that to make sure that we we'll hopefully most of them will be All right, well, you're looking for an SME meeting. Uh, we, do, we, have a, we do have an October, and I think it's, I don't seem to have it on my calendar at all in September. Is it in September? Mm -hmm. I have it out in the car, but that doesn't help me take <laughs> Oh, you mean, you mean, use the technology? Thank you. Just send everybody else to us. I'm just going to keep We'll figure it out. Okay, we'll figure that out. What about Wednesday the 25th for us to get back together to uh, kind of regroup? Of September? Yeah. That's fine. Okay. No, no, sorry. So Monday and Wednesdays are the I know. I think I don't know. Are not good. I'm not good for me. They're fine. It's just that I'm I'm at work until later. Oh. It's just six thirty on the twenty fifth. Okay. That work. So we'll at that point we may be able to kind of button things up a bit. Mm -hmm. um, depending on any sort of feedback that's first shattering on the yeah. on the eighteenth, right? Um which would the other, well, the other option might be to have a withdrawal committee meeting immediately after your forum. I know one is going to set up already. Yeah, we will. Yeah, yeah, we'll go that long. Oh, let's have one here and see. Let's have one just in case. And we can have one I, I would also like to suggest maybe we don't want Bob to do a draft of anything. I mean, if we're not really going to use it, I mean, I mean to, to say we have it done by, you know, before. Well, parts of it, I can start parts of the report anyway, because parts, parts of the report are, are right. pretty generic with demographics and all that right. stuff. Um, but, I mean, you've got the presentation under control anyway, yeah. so all it will be is just putting that into the report, whatever the final decision is afterwards. So, but I can start there. I can start there. I'm just saying that you don't, you don't have to be under such a... I appreciate it. I, mean, I, I know, <laughs> and probably if you're doing one for someone's worth as well, they're the same as you start out. Some of the same information. Okay. Yeah. Does that, let's just go back and do a sanity check on it. By the on the 25th, we meet. We've kind of buttoned things up. Does that put us in the right step? Or is the for next step is sending it to the, to the DOE, I believe. Right, which we said we needed to have before. They have a six-week turnaround, I think. So we had to plan for that. So that was about yeah. November, mid-November, yeah. which then would lead us to our Warren article. Which yeah. needs to be done by end of December, early January. Mm -hmm. By, yeah. It, it, yeah. Oh, okay. It has to be done by sometime in January. Yeah. So we're going to cheat. I think mm -hmm. like it. So do you want me to post a meeting for the withdrawal committee immediately following the September 18 forum if it only lasts for 45 minutes? If 10 people show up and, right. they're, and they're talked out in 10 minutes. Right, right. 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 They'll have all the information they need and they have zero questions. I'm zero just thinking that, that would give me an extra seven days to start on the report. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then they mm -hmm. oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So then we'll post a meeting. So we're going to post meetings for the 16th. The 16th. We the already 18th. have the 18th up. Um, oh, sorry, second one on the 18th. And then we can possibly, and then we'll just leave. We don't have to post the uh, 25th yet until we see if we need it, but we have it in our calendars. Right. I think we should, yeah, it'd be nice if we could be ready for the 25th, I would say. So let's target that. It's too aggressive. No, that's fine because okay. you 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 you're, um, you only need 24 hours to post. So mm -hmm. I mean, you that's could right. right. you could decide okay. at the 18th if you, yeah. if you need this meeting, then we'll post it. If you okay. don't, then I keep thinking it's two weeks for some reason. No, that's, uh, that's other more official. That's more huh. other more like a really official. Okay, this is semi-official. Those are for do we need to vote on our official recommendation tonight before we're doing our, are we saying our rec vote, our recommendation is contract with Summer's work? Is that what we're going to present? The 18th, or are we just simply going to do the option? Not last 
Well, we can just we could decide that on the 16th. Okay. Um, but I, I mean, I would have. I, 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 right. That's I, what I'm thinking. Yeah. I think I would like to have an official recommendation. I feel like that's what we're where we guide everybody. Yeah. And I feel I, that that's where we are, and so I don't. I, I don't think know so too. How other people feel? Do we need to take a vote? I, that's why I'm, I wasn't sure if we need to officially vote on that. Or not. I don't know if you need to officially vote okay. on it. I mean, I, that's, okay. if, that's, if that's if that's what you're okay. going forward, that's what you need. That's, that's, that totally works for me. I just wanted to ask for it. Yeah. I think we do need Good to make question. it clear so that by consensus, yeah. so let's yes. make this clear. So, so let's, yeah. let's very, so by consensus, this committee is recommending um, that we move forward with contracting most likely with some sort. Right. And to withdraw and to withdraw from the SAU 56 and contract with others. There you go. <laughs> So along those lines, I think we need to really think about, and I've been thinking about it a lot and not really coming to any good conclusions, but how are we going to message why we're withdrawing? You know, yes, yeah. Summersworth started the process by potentially withdrawing on their own, but why? Mm -hmm. I mean, we know why, but we need to be able to message that in a way that people understand mm -hmm. why this is happening, because... Uh, from the outside, it seems like, well, why don't you just keep it the way it is now? The money's going to be the same, the services are going to be the same, you know, why is this happening? We have to kind of figure out how we can answer that question in a, in a diplomatic way and in a way that will make people understand that, you know, we have to move forward with this, uh, you know, we don't have a choice in the matter. Are we able to kind of recap our meetings with them? And just kind of say, mm -hmm. you know, we came to a collective decision that they don't want us voting in their matters anymore. And I don't know, honesty is best policy, mm -hmm. I guess. And just kind of recap the minutes. If they want more details, you can point them to the minutes. So meetings are public. Or Where we came to that decision. Are up to. Um, yeah, but I it's mean, a good. I, I, agree. I agree. We do need a why. Well, uh, yeah. well again, I, th I think the, the recap, the, the start, how, how did this start? And it started with um, Summersworth School Board voting to um, consider withdrawal. Mm -hmm. And then, because that happened, our attorney, we asked Bob, the school board asked Bob to, to check in with our attorney, and our attorney said, well, I truly recommend that you do the same thing in order to make sure your interests are, that you're looking after your own interests. Right. Essentially. So that was fair. Yeah, it keeps all your options open. Um, and the, it, yes. If you, if, if you allow Summersworth to go through the process um, and pull out, ultimately, you're still going to have to make decisions and you're reacting to everything that happened. And they've made it pretty clear that, that they would proceed with, with pulling out. Um, so by pulling out yourself, then you're, you're the ones deciding on which avenue you're going to go with. And, and, and I agree, I mean, so that we're making our own decisions, so there's that, but I, I agree also that, that, you know, that it could also be stated if the question comes up, we had joint meetings, Right. Um, the Summersworth School Board made it very. The Summersworth Withdrawal Committee right. made it very clear um, that that um, the Summersworth the city council, the city, the, yeah, the, the, city and yeah. the school district uh, right. wanted their own. Right. They simply wanted to be uh, autonomous. Right. And, and, and yeah. you know, if, you, if any of them were there and want to answer the question, <laughs> you know, that's true. And, and you also, you can also but, say like, wasn't. I mean, we can't speak for them, but this is what we gain from all of our meetings with them. And right, so it just—it just begs the question, right? Because exactly. why are they? Yeah. Why are they wanting to do this, but then give us the same thing back? Right. And we understand all the nuts and bolts and things, but I, I think mm -hmm. even if we have like a written mm -hmm. summary so ahead of time, that yeah. we can all kind I'm of fall back, back on. Yeah. The cup because we don't also want to make it look mm -hmm. like. You know, Summersworth is the enemy, or right. you know, why are we contracting with them if they kicked us out? You know, yeah. it's well, that could be a question for sure. Absolutely. Tricky, it's tricky messaging, and mm -hmm. great. It's a, it's a sticky wicket. But I think the proactive stance is a really good mm -hmm. talking point to yeah. say, you know, we want to be able to make decisions for us and our, our community. So, and, 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 
think that's the, that's the point. That, and what Judy said about the, the basic decision for Summersworth was they wanted uh, to be autonomous in decision making. Right. Because and, we no longer have. At the SAU level. Because they already were at the Summersworth School District level. Right. But we no longer, and their reasoning behind that was we no longer had students in their school district. Well, that was their reasoning. That was. Right. But that, I mean, that's simple. I mean, yes, have to be yeah. prepared yeah. to, okay. to give that. I don't think it needs to be any more complicated. Yeah. And, and I think that um, if the question should come up, that, then well, why are we contracting back with them? That, yeah. Because they started this issue. I, I think that certainly uh, my answer would be that, that we, we have great faith in, in, the, in the leadership at the SAU and, and the relationship with them, and we would like to and maybe leverage that for as long as we can. Yeah. I think that also, I mean, it was in public meeting, but we were also trying to reduce the number of board members we were sending. So we were trying to negotiate with right. them, but we just couldn't by law to do that. I mean, we could have, but, yeah. but it would have reduced the, the our school board numbers, which is definitely something that's not an option for us. So we can barely keep up. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Yeah, and I also, um, I, I think we can absolutely put the lie together. Yeah, I think that's a really good call. Yeah. We can all have a little uh, note cards. I can learn when the question comes yeah. up, you go, and yeah, um, you just, just, just sort of hit the point. If you can. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I got one question. What is it going to cost Rollins to withdraw from the SAU? Cost. Actual money, money out of our pocket. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think money out of our pocket will be at this point. It will be the cost of an attorney to review the contract that we come up with to help us write and or review the contract that we come up with, and we will be getting some money from the uh, fund balance. One hundred five dollars. That's a joke. <laughs> Just curious. At the moment, we're not incurring yeah. costs hmm. at the moment, th thanks to the work that's being done by the SEU staff. Yeah. I mean, you know, this was true. We put, money in, <laughs> we put money in our budget to make sure that we would be able to cover, um, you know, Melinda's time and other folks. So. And I think the other point, we did our due diligence. I mean, we went to Absolutely. what, school districts? Yeah. It's not like we... we Oh, exactly. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but I think it's important. Yeah. That we we share that too. Absolutely. So. Sure. I think this committee's been very thorough. I've, I'm <laughs> very thorough, and, and I'm hoping we'll keep some of you engaged if you have other questions as we move forward, as the school board moves forward. So. Good stuff. Do you need any of us at the next school board meeting? We've been speaking to it. Sorry, I spaced on that. Do you know what time? Six. And Six where? City Hall. Well. City Hall. Uh, not that I know of. Yeah, I don't. I just it would have been from Alice, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see. And I don't know if we would have been copied as the withdrawal committee. I would assume that we would be, but maybe not. Yeah, I don't remember. Well, okay, not necessarily the withdrawal committee, but the school board. I see ours. Uh, He's posted at the town hall. Is is that that the the twenty fifth? I don't. I can't remember the date. But yeah, it is posted. Oh, okay. well, the summer. <laughs> yes, and the Rollins. Oh, no. All right. I didn't see it electronically, but I didn't either. So because we posted both of them. In yes, it's posted. All the places we usually post. I didn't remember the date. I think I'm it is sorry, the twenty fifth. It's based on that. That was way too easy. <laughs> it was way too easy to find a date. Um, yeah, even more of a reason to do it. After, right? Yeah. So much work. Yeah, maybe we meet after after their forum. 
Yeah, maybe we need also. that too. I mean, you know, yeah. for our Well, you can decide that on the 18th. And what did we say, 6.30? 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock.